welcome back to Kid Venture Ketchup Science Edition. I am Dr. Expert, and with me once again is regular person. Miss Melody, hot regular person. And today we'll be doing a cool science experiment with some oranges. But first, let's hear the Bible passage for today. So today's Bible passage we're going to read is Ephesians 6 verses 10 through 17. Finally, let the Lord make you strong. Depend on his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor. Then you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Our fight is not against human beings. It's against the rulers, the authorities, and the powers of this dark world. It's against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly world. So, put on all of God's armor. Evil days will come, but you will be able to stand up to anything. And after you have done everything you can, you will still be standing. So, remain strong in the faith. Put the belt of truth around your waist. Put the armor of godliness on your chest. Wear on your feet what will prepare you to tell the good news of peace. Also, pick up the shield of faith. With it, you can put out all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Put on the helmet of salvation and take the sword of the Holy Spirit. The sword is God's word. Did you catch all of those pieces of the armor of God? First, it was the armor of godliness. I think that someone should put all this on. This is the armor of godliness. Next is the sword of the spirit. That's God's word. And then we have the belt of truth. You know what truth is? Truth is always true. Put the belt of truth around your waist. Put the armor of godliness on your chest. Wear on your feet what will prepare you for the gospel of peace. Also, pick up the shield of faith. It will protect you from the flaming arrows of the devil. And then we have the helmet of salvation protects our head. There we go. Do you remember? Do you remember what they are? Helmet of salvation, sword of the spirit, shield of faith, the armor of godliness, the belt of truth, and the gospel of good peace. Those are the pieces of the armor of God. Did you know that there was an armor of God? It's something that we can try and put on every day that will protect us from the devil and his schemes to get us to do bad things because God wants us to live in righteousness and truth. Have you ever tried this experiment with an orange? So here we have two regular oranges. Now both of these oranges have their armor on. Have you ever thought of the rind of an orange being like its armor protecting it from the inside? And did you know that when we put these oranges in water, what do you think happens? <gasps> it floats! Both of them float with their armor on. Remember that the armor of God helps us to stand firm. These oranges are sure standing firm against the water. But what happens if one of the oranges forgets to put on? Uh-oh, this orange forgot his belt of truth. Maybe someone said something that wasn't true about him and he started to believe it. So, part of his armor is not on. If he believes that lie instead of the truth that he's wonderfully made, he might not be able to stand as firm in the water. What if he forgot his helmet of salvation? He forgot about 
how he can stand firm in Jesus, that Jesus has saved him and will never leave him. But he forgot he's not wearing his full armor of God. What if he forgot his shield of faith to lean on what Jesus said and to have faith in him? What if he forgot his sword of the spirit? If someone said something that wasn't in the Bible, but he forgot to rely on God's true word. What if he forgot his shoes of the gospel of peace? He was walking around without those on. What was he thinking? What if he forgot his armor of godliness and he was not doing the right things? This orange has been forgetting his armor of God. And look, he is being peeled. What do you think will happen when he gets put in the water? I don't know. Let's see. Let's try it out. Oh no. That orange does not have his armor of God on and he can't stand firm. He sunk to the bottom. Remember, the Bible says our fight is not against human beings. It is against the rulers, the authorities, and the powers of this dark world. It is against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly world. So put on all of God's armor. Evil, evil days will come, but you will be able to stand firm up to anything. And after you have done everything you can, you will still be standing. Hey, remember each day to put on your armor of God because God wants us to stand firm against those that are trying to make us do wrong things. All right, guys, I hope you learned something today and had fun with us, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Kidventure Catch-Up.